Hi everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Today I want to be showing you how to use the netstat.exe program on Windows to actually detect nasty Trojans, spyware or any other nasty programs that are running and using certain ports on your PC to actually access the internet or act activity on the network. Okay, now we're also going to be using a PS kill program to actually kill the process so you can delete the file now I'm not infected with any computer so I can't really show you the real actual infection but basically I'm going to show you an idea of it and also I'm going to show you another program called fport to actually give you an, a second choice of program if you didn't want to use netstat so let's get started first off you need to go start run and type cmd because we're going to be using a command prompt now if you don't want to use the run bar and you're not comfortable you can actually use start Program, all programs, accessories, and command prompt. And if that's if you've been locked out from that by the administrator, or whatever reasons why, go notepad, type command in there. Dot com. Save that file as a bat file, and you should still be able to cmd dot bat. Save that to your desktop, and you should be able to get a command prompt from that if you've been locked out. Okay, there you go. So anyway, so now you've got a command prompt, we're going to use the next stack command to actually show you some stuff. So first off, I'm going to get back to the C root uh, of my drive. So I'm going to go CD space backslash, that takes me to C root. I'm going to use CLS to clear the screen, so we've got a nice clear screen to show you. So now type net stat, that's N-E-T-S-T-A-T -T -T, space forward slash question mark that's going to give us all the little switches that we're going to be using and I'm going to be using the A switch the B switch and the N switch and the zero switch I'm going to use all those and show you what they can do okay so let's get started so let's clear the screen and then type net stat like so uh, dash space dash B and what that's going to do is that's going to give us a big list of actually executables that are running on the system at this time active connections that are using executable files and as you can see we're now getting the actual PID number I'm going to call it PID it's PID uh, process identifier but we're going to, I'm just going to be calling it PID and that's the number and also you've got the established connection which is the actual connection that's established to go out and actually what what is actually the executable file as in AVP which is my antivirus program firefox.exe Okay, and iExplorer.exe. Now, what you're looking for is any um, anything obscure names. Maybe it might be called uh, capital iExplorer.exe, which isn't quite like an iExplorer. But it's different. You know, when they use the different type names that are similar, so you actually don't quite recognise them. Uh, so it doesn't look obvious. You know, that's how they do. They try and trick you. So these are the connections, this is a real handy tool now. The reason why these are all coming up established because I've got a load of windows open down the bottom. Now if I shut these windows, obviously all these will disappear and the actual connections will all be empty. But this is because I've got windows open and it's actually connecting. And that's why they're established. Okay, so let's try another command and see if it gives us any more information. You can also cross-reference cross these executable files and find out where they're from in a little bit later, I'll show you. So for instance, we're now going to type CNS to clear the screen. And now we're going to type netstat space dash ANO. Okay, that's the other switches I was going to use all in a line. You can either use A or an N, but we're going to use them all in one go because I want the actual command. So this is actually showing me the actual TCP IP and the UDP, UDP ports that are being used at this present time. Now, I've seen people saying, if you've got established here, you've been hacked, and you've got a, that, that's not the case. The reason why these are actually established is because we have got established connections going out. Now, these could be anything. Now, they could be nasty spyware, or nasty viruses, or trojans. But if you can, I'm going to show you a way how to cross reference them and check them. So, for instance, you can see these PID, I keep going on about these PID numbers. Now, what are they, and what can we do with them? Well, if you right click on your um, taskbar down the bottom and then click task manager this will bring up your task window or you can push control delete on your keyboard and that will do the same thing now now we've got this window open I'm going to actually just put that here so we can see these numbers 
these are the numbers we're taking a look at and now we need to go view select col columns and we need to type, put a tick in PID process identifier OK click OK and now this gives us a load of numbers down here now what we need to do now is cross reference these numbers with some of these ones here now you're only interested in the ones that are established OK do not worry about the ones that are listening it's the ones that have actually established the connection OK one second sorry about that that was the phone anyway as you can see here we've got the actual number what we're looking for is the established connections so we're going to look for 3072 so you come down and look for 3072 um, and what you need to do is once you've found that connection that's 3072 my eyesight's getting dodgy there it is and that's Firefox as you can see okay so now we know that's all those can be discarded that's because we've got all the Firefox browser open so there you go that's how you, dis, uh, how you find out what's connected now also now we know these here now say for argument's sake one of those files was called um, one of these files was called this this backdoor it may be this name here that is running in this process okay it may be one of these that you can see and it'll be called something like that okay now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you where to actually check now you can either just copy that say that was the process that was running dot exe or it'd be this whole thing okay now you need to come to a site like this now this site is really really useful it's called spywareguide.com okay you need to post that executable file in there click search and this will come up with this file name now that's the file name it tells you the level of dangerous how dangerous it is click on that and it will tell you what program it is okay it's a Trojan and it's a program that enables an attacker to get nearly complete control over the infected PC so that's basically nasty enough in itself as you can see now if that was running you'd be able to you'd be able to see that in the actual it will show up in here okay because obviously he's, he's establishing a connection to your computer that's how you tell what nasties are on your PC now I did say to you how can you kill a process well I'm going to do that in a minute I just want to show you this other quick program and it's called fport okay now you can get it from this website here okay foundstone.com download it and it does the same thing as netstat okay so if I type that in there it will then give me a load of stuff now all you need to do is put it in your C drive like so and as you can see it's down here fport.exe it's clean there's nothing on it and it actually gives you the PID ID the Firefox what is running and it tells you the location of the file which is fantastic because that means we can now track the file down and actually delete the file which is really really useful okay now I did say to you about how to now you can see any, there'd be a nasty in there you'd actually see okay now I did say to you I was going to show you another program called PS Kill now this is a program free to download off of uh, Microsoft it's a handy little tool and it's an actual process killer so let's just actually access that the same thing download it and you'd actually install it by just dropping it in the actual C folder in your root directory or you could put it I suppose somewhere else but that's where I put mine okay now we need to type PS kill like so and in space now we need to put the PID ID number in of a program so let's open up our task manager and just say for instance I'm going to use explorer.exe because this will shut this browser down and I can then show you how it works and if this was a virus I'm going to be shutting down this PID number okay 1612 so all I need to do is type pskill 1612 push enter and I press do the process is now killed and all the as you can see all the taskbar is gone and everything okay to get that back obviously I'll just have to type explorer.exe in there and up it comes that's another way of killing processes my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk I hope this has been some use to you please leave your comments if you've got any if you've got any questions please email me and if you've got any requests for videos please give me an email and I'll do my best to make a video for you thanks very much for watching bye for now